Oh man, my heart is racing. This is so deep right now. Every step I take, I'm going under. It's brutal. <laughs> Welcome to Winter Wonderland. Man, what a day, huh? There's a fresh uh, drop of snow. It snowed here on the mountain two nights ago and last night. And uh, I thought to myself, well, I better come up here and take some photos because look at this beauty. Check that out. I love the fact that we have patches of clouds that reveal the blue sky. And these uh, trees with the no on them, just magnificent. So I'm on Seymour Mountain here in uh, North Vancouver. One of the mountains that uh, are used for skiing in the winter. You have grouse, Seymour and cypress. I'm going to try to hit the trail that goes up to Brockton Point, which is a hiking trail. Look at that uh, magnificent drama behind me. Holy moly. So I'm gonna try to get up to Brockton Point on a hiking trail. That's about uh, 35 minutes from here. If I can make it, let's see. I don't know the snow condition. If, uh, oh, look at this raven. Maybe it was just a crow. However, it was very big. Oh, I love these trees with the snow on them. Beauty. At one point, I'm going to have to take my camera out and uh, just shoot some photos. Look at this. So I'm about an hour and a half before sunset. And if I'm lucky enough to uh, get to a viewpoint where I can photograph the sunset from, to get the view of the city with the snow on the mountain, that would be even better. If not, hey, this is not too bad. I think this is it, Mount Seymour Main Trail. Let me check it on the map. Yeah, that's the one. Oh man, I have a big climb coming. But look at that sun. And of course, I forgot to bring my gloves. This is steep, but look at this beauty. Ask those two people behind me if this is the way to Brockton Point. I confirmed it. Hold on, let me catch my breath here. Whew. Hard work, man, but the rewards are equal. That's how deep I went. I moved to the side for a couple of skiers to pass. That's how deep I went into the snow. Because here where the snow is uh, compacted, it's a breeze to walk. But on the side, like here, if you step into it, <laughs> you're going down, compadre. Oh man, but I love this winter wonderland. <laughs> so quiet here too. I probably have about uh, 15 minutes left to Brockton Point, maybe. I'm not too sure. I've never been here before. This is my first time. This is a pretty well maintained trail, so I should be okay with not getting lost. But, uh, you know, gotta keep an eye open and have all your senses alert. Oh, that's such a moody atmosphere. The sun is behind the clouds over there. You see it? So beautiful. It will still take about a, an hour and a half, a couple of hours for the sun to get down. However, I do want to get to the point before that.
Now the sun is peeking out from behind the clouds. Beauty! This is the type of scenery that makes you want to stop at every five freaking seconds and take photos. Wow. This chap pass. Awesome. Look at this. Are you kidding me? Magnificent. This is the ski run over here that goes down from Mystery Peak. It's 4.30 now and I'm not at Brockton Point. Right now, to be honest, I don't know what to do because I see this trail here. Look at that. I'm assuming where that skier is, that's where Brockton Point is. You know what? I'm gonna go and uh, I'm gonna go and push on because I remember you can see Mystery Points hop from Brockton Point. So I'm gonna push on. Let's see another guy or a girl in front of me. Probably she's going or he's going up there too. So let's go and uh, check it out. I really hope these clouds are not gonna get more thick than this because uh, of two reasons. I don't want them to cover my my view and. I don't want them to be as thick as I cannot tell which way to go. That would be a bad day for business. And there's a glove here on this post with the middle finger up. <sighs> oh man, my heart is racing. I asked that skier, that guy, if Brockton Point is close, he says like five minutes away. Yeah, that's what I thought. Wow, look at this. Look at this. Well, you know, distances on the mountain are relative. Because I remember hiking back in Romania when I was with the Boy Scouts, we were on the mountains and we would come across other hikers or most often than not, people that live there in the mountains and I said hey how far to this point oh it's just here 10 minutes sure enough half an hour later <laughs> there was no destination in sight and then you get across another guy how far until here oh like five minutes so <laughs> it's all relative right but oh crap I do see Brockton Point right there. Yeah, you see that clearing? That's where it is. It's just a matter of getting there. And in this thick snow, with the gradient that I'm presented in front, I see a little kid going down. But this is the last stretch. The last mile. The air is so good though. Unbelievable, I love this. Look at these hills. I'm gonna get my fiance up here, maybe not all the way here because she's not as a hiker as I am, but maybe half the way because it's beauty. Yeah, here we go. What did I say? Oh my god. Okay, come on, baby. Oh man. This is deep. This is so deep right now. I can't believe it. it. Takes all my energy just to make a step or two. 
every step I take, I'm going under, like a, a foot and a half. It's brutal. It's brutal. Man, I, gotta, I think I'm gonna be turning back because these clouds are coming in. You know what, I'm just gonna go up there to see where I am and then I'm gonna head back, I think. Although it's marked. Okay, come on, Adrian. Are you kidding me? Oh, no, this is futile. There's no point. Oh, man. I'm not even sure if this is the trail anymore. I don't have snowshoes, I don't have gloves. I think I'm gonna go back and just shoot some photos from the trail. Because I do have some nice conditions. Yeah, let's go back. There's no way I could have made it in time. By in time, I mean by the time the sun goes down and night sets in. Oh man, look at that. Wow, I gotta put my long lens on. Look at that sunset. Continue downwards. I found a clearing and I took a few photos from here with uh, frozen trees and snow on the trees and the sunset but, uh, and the sun that's uh, playing peekaboo behind the clouds and there's this guy who goes up there and uh, by the looks of it you can uh, get to a viewpoint so I'm gonna do that for the next half hour if I don't find a viewpoint I'm gonna come back. Not too bad. At least I have a little bit of a viewpoint from here. Oh my God. Look at that view. Look at that light. Holy moly. a different trail from the one that I gave up on and I saw this guy in front of me with the snowshoes going on this one and I thought to myself well let's follow him a little bit and also the trail was more compact and so more easy to walk on so that's why I decided to come here there gotta take a couple of photos and then head back down we're still about an hour from sunset I can see a little bit of the city in the distance let's see if I can photograph it I need a fast shutter speed because I'm all the way zoomed in at 300 millimeters 1250th of a second f6.3 Allah, look at that light. It really is 
super beautiful up here. We got a bunch of clouds over there. Check those babies out. And behind me, look at that mountain enveloped by cloud. Unbelievable. I'll have to come back one day and push all the way to the top. Today is not that day because uh, gotta play it safe here and smart. Oh, but look at that light on that uh, on that cliff over there. Look at that. Let's try a close up at the zoom in. And I have a beautiful cloud ridge that reflects the sunlight. Check this out. Also, what I'm noticing right now on the trees. The snow, it's uh, like blown sideways. It froze sideways. I'm going to take a shot so you can understand uh, what I mean. Check this out. Now the clouds pretty much covered everything. So I am going to head back down now. Beauty. Right now it's a race down to the car. Hopefully I can remember the trail and don't get lost. Basically I have to keep the ski run to my left all the way down. And uh, the trail is marked with these yellow sticks. With these yellow sticks. Actually they're orange. <laughs> I was gonna say orange, I don't know why I said yellow. My pants are not uh, good enough for sliding down the slope. I can see the Mystery Peak hut from here very nicely. Oh yeah. This is a good sign, <laughs> means we're on the right track. Look at this drop here. Sled a little bit. It's always easier to go down than to go up. In this case, oh, man, I love this uh, this situation here. Look at this beautiful view. Well, you know what? We didn't reach that point that I wanted to reach, Brockton Point. But you know what? If there's a lesson to be learned from here, is don't get hang up on locations. You can plan for one location. But if that doesn't work out, just improvise and have fun. It's not the end of the world. You can always come back. And even if you don't come back, you still have a nice experience and some nice photos. And I did take some nice photos, I think, which I'm happy for. So don't think of it as I have to get to that location. Because if it doesn't work, you're going to be disappointed. And then you're going to miss out on all these nice little moments that you might have if you keep an open mind. What a beautiful evening. I just came up the mountain thinking oh, I'm gonna do a couple of photos, but the experience was awesome. I loved it. And uh, I think that's what us humans should focus more on. Experiences. Yes, the final result is important, but the experiences, that's what makes us humans, right? what we feel in the moment, things that you look back on. 
this is my experience today and I'm happy to share it with you beauty I made it back to parking lot and look at this sunset here beauty all over just beautiful light dusk is here I'm gonna try a couple more photos with the ski run over here with the lights on it because I do like that uh, color of the winter gray and blue tint with the lights very nice very beautiful atmosphere I always say that in my vlogs very beautiful atmosphere but isn't it a fun day in the snow playing in the snow and now it's dark I got some uh, photos with the uh, mountain tops tree tops uh, whatever I could find of the city on that side on my right there's still sunset going on but unfortunately there's too many trees that I cannot pick out uh, sections of the city this was a fun day I'm gonna go get to my car go home and grab a bite to eat so I can warm up because I forgot my gloves at home today and needless to say my hands are freaking frozen okay, I'm gonna go find my car and call it a day thanks for watching this peace <laughs>